so far as to say something that maybe you guys are going to be upset at. Sanji's gimmick. Sanji's gimmick of, of like being like really horny and almost dying. Kind of annoying. Like I got it the first time. I got it the second time. I got it the third time. Don't try to make it like a pivotal subplot. Don't make it a pivotal sub. Uh, I mean, that's how you know he's a fucking leftist, okay? First of all, misogynistic leftist, okay? Misogyny left is like a fundamental, uh, like a key part of uh, being a leftist is like, you have to be misogynistic. Like, he's like pro-trans and then thinks like all women have to either be like old and really hard to look at, ugly. Like the way he draws them is either like old women that are impossible to look at and like every other character reacts to them like, ah! when they see them or just like the the most insane like drawing women like a like a young Hassan who who wanted to jerk off but porn was uh banned in the country so he had to jerk off his uh, jerk off to his own uh, drawings of of women with like gigantic knockers thank you fizz Just talking about LeBron James in general. Sweeping LeBron James should be treated as racism, which it is. It is racist. It is absolutely racist to, to sweep LeBron James. You should not be allowed to do that if it were up to me. If it were up to me, Hassan talking sports like Miskiff talking politics, I demonstrably don't know anything about sports. I'm just saying that it's racially motivated, which it is. And you're probably a racist too. If you don't recognize that, it's honestly very fucked up. You know, the NBA. You thought yesterday was Tuesday too. I mean, it makes sense. Um, percent 100 P. Uh, others bid on it as well, but Marjorie Taylor Greene ultimately won. And as bidding went on, McCarthy would sweeten the deal, throwing in agreeing to attend a dinner with donors and slash a supporter supporters for whoever wins. The chapstick specifically was Representative Aaron Bean's campaign chapstick. Told the flavor is cherry. Ah! Marjorie Taylor Greene warning. I'm sorry. Bean was the auctioneer filling the shoes of former Billy Long and Seams. I was right. Kevin gives her a Kong full of peanut butter after they have CrossFit sex and she goes crazy. Yeah, you know she's licking down to the core of that. Marjorie Taylor Greene is serving cunt, but in a God-honoring way? Absolutely fucking not. Marjorie Stand this, okay? That's what's happening, allegedly. Yes. I think you found the day I was uh, a little bit more clout, at least with like the the uh, Trump. Ma oh yeah, the, when I started talking about Elmer's, that's uh, I, I had already established it. I I was I, and I I'm using this as an example as to why I am talking about Amazon position topping what being dominant also means being a top. This is such a danger zone. Fuck no, it's not. I'm out the Amazon Amazoness Morgan Morg Pie style top. I met Morg Pie. She's a big leftovers uh, head. She's a she's a Hasanabi head. She was very nice. Dude actually looks like, and then this is what he looks like on the Red Future Radio Network, the Conservative Crusader. Yeah, she's a massive H three H three stand. Morg Pie is yeah, yeah. Because the reality is, in Harvard Business School studies about this, the left is significantly more annoying than the right is, typically speaking, when it comes what? to their consumption. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. What the fuck? What does that mean? Take a neutral corporation, a corporation that has no politics, and you have a right-wing corporation, a left-wing corporation. That the left-wing corporation 
He said, scientifically speaking, the left is more annoying than the right. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? Is viewed somewhat positively by the left. The neutral corporation is also viewed somewhat positively by the left because they assume that it's just a left-wing corporation. A right-wing corporation loses 20 to 30 points in approval rating just for not being a left-wing corporation. For the right, however, the right doesn't have significant feelings about this one way or another. The right typically will just shop wherever it wants to shop. So corporate America has relied on this. What is he saying? Like, what... What, what, is, what is happening here? What is a right-wing corporation? First of all, all corporations are right-wing. They're corporations, okay? Right-wing from an economic sense, okay? Unless they're like a cooperative owned by exclusively septum-piercing wearing bisexuals, they are probably going to be right-wing, okay? And therefore, there are plenty of other parts of India that will have different opinions. It's like assuming that like, uh, like a, a region with predominantly sick Indians is going to have a, a similar perspective to other areas. It, that's, it's so fucking stupid. And that wasn't your main point. So it doesn't matter. No, Ben is wrong. And you're a fucking baboon. Oh my God. This is more of a third gender. Anyway. It's like, Orthodox Jewish people being anti-abortion when it's quite literally allowed in your fucking religion, okay? Which Ben Shapiro is that person that I'm talking about. You know what I mean? He's like anti-abortion, but like his own religion expressly allows it, okay? It is in the constant fucking Mesopotamia or other ancient cultures, tribal cultures, for example, indigenous cultures with the third gender or two spirits, sorry. But gender which is an expression, an identity that is clearly socially constructed, is absolutely proven by the reality that you are seeing in front of you. Here is a Pakistani chatter. My Orthodox, very religious parents still accept and embrace the third gender. My father literally watches stage plays where trans people are the stars. They are invited to talk and game shows. They are respected as far as I know. Don't export your white shit is what... Uh, what what uh, a Pakistani Hassan Abihead just said. Um, yeah. Big stretch. It's so easy to understand if you read. Says the dad. Cold coffees for Arpita. Three cold coffees for Arpita. And it's for Arpita, not Arpit. Cold coffees for Arpita. Arpita. And he ordered it because he's accepting her name, guys. Okay, you know this fucking video is bullshit because no one in Starbucks, not in India or in any other fucking country is ever going to get your name right, okay? Let's be fucking real. That's why the ad's bullshit. If I was criticizing this ad, I'd be like, okay, that part is a stretch, okay? Not the, not the Indian conservative father being uh, more understanding of uh, his, his trans daughter or anything like that. Is the fact that, like, the person that's working there wrote the name correctly. No shot. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like copy, coffee for Arpatifa. <laughs> no shot would it be right. No shot. Oh, so, and the guitar is going to, for me, you are. All of this relies, as I said before, on two things. Unity of corporate wokeness and your apathy. All right, again, another example, unity of corporate wokeness. Adidas has now decided that the best way to sell female swimsuits is to put a dude in them. Yes, ladies. But I, I, I will never understand how women are not more insulted by this than men are. Men are insulted by this because we just think it's ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd. Men are not women. Women are... Oh, my God. He's, like, kind of into it. How long is this video? Wait, what? Yo, my man is an intellectual, dude. Yo, he likes it. He... I look so gross in this light and with this hair. What the fuck was I thinking, okay? What the fuck was I thinking? I know it's not related to, like, anything, but this was not doing me any fucking favor. He likes it! Hey! There are queer people, especially in the younger audience. A lot of people are mute that it's not gay. Is that what it is? Oh, it's so frustrating.
This shit's getting out of hand. They're targeting children, whether you like it or not. And it's time that people actually do something about it. Because if they don't, then guess what? That shit won't just be in Target. It'll be in every store ever. Target is every store ever, you fucking idiot. Oh my god. Call Target, they're crying. It's not Target, it's a seasonal display section. I, I don't even give a shit. I don't- Pain almost has watched Twitter become an increasingly friendly space for conservative fire brands. They've watched as Tucker Carlson has migrated his presence and his show there. And they feel like this is a space where he can really have an impact with this announcement, both in terms of reach and also in terms of the sort of themes and the contrast that they can draw between DeSantis and the other contenders here, particularly. What are your pronouns? They don't even know what that is. So when you ask that, you're planting what? the seed in their minds that they maybe should identify as another gender or that identifying as another gender is hip or cool. Hey, my teacher's asking me, so maybe this is what I should do. I need to hear what some of the more liberal parents had to say. Some of them sat in on the meeting, and one passed me this note calling it a hate group. The next day, we met with those parents. For the record, have any of your kids ever come home and said, I am feeling peer pressure to be gay or trans? No. no. <laughs> oh, drug test Jokic? Jokic? Bro, everything I hear about this dude, uh, I, I it makes me like him more. I'm sorry, but this is like, this is fucking insane. Like... He is so me coded in so many different ways. Like he's a soda boy, horse girl, also like kind of fucking tall, fat. You know what I mean? He's got it all, man. He's got it all. He's fucking, he's doing the damn thing. <laughs> Women's sports and boys playing on girls teams when trans people are doing what sports they play at the sports ball time to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Am I right? Fuck you. Is class war an instrument? God damn it. You didn't even try to write something that was, like, coherent, which is why you captured my attention. Okay? Like, it was so impossible to comprehend what you just said there. It was so impossible to understand. Thanks for responding, and thanks, chat. Read some good stuff in here, too. Agree it's fucked up. Appreciate it. Sorry for getting into it again. No, it's fine. We've talked about it so much. I personally, I personally believe in a couple things. One, I don't believe that people are transing themselves to win a high school swim meet. I think you're just self-reporting when you say that. It's the same kind of self-report that people used to say that people are gay for attention. It's like, you think that's the reason? You think that's why people do that? Or do you think that sports, especially up from K through 12, is a really good way to feel normalized and feel welcomed in society? And that's precisely the reason why some brave trans students actually go through with it, even if they will become a national villain in the fucking spotlight at the early age of like 12 to fucking 16. That's it. That's the only reason. Okay. And I am a slur sayer. As you guys know, I've also said the R word, like a lot. I've said it on stream. I'm from New Jersey. It's like, you know, that's a very common part of my uh, vernacular or used to be. I don't anymore. So I'm a slur enjoyer. How do you feel about people like Moon just telling real dumb chatters to get a vasectomy? I think it's hilarious. What do you mean? <laughs> what? That's awesome. And I'm probably going to steal it now. <laughs> like that's a great example do you think moon moon is saying that because he's a nazi and like he genuinely thinks that like we should do eugenics to people who are stupid like do you do you think that that's what's going on there or do you think he's just like joking <laughs> i mean he is bald so he might be who knows VTubers and Vebe homies, I come from when the R word was used daily. No, not a joke. It wasn't used for shits and gigs. Fucked up, demeaning, abusive, and should never be used. We can talk 4chan game or like make excuses. Not that hard. Don't use it. This VTuber dad. Um. Yeah, I said he can. Like, imagine fucking writing it in the patch notes, dude. You are so insane. That was the dev? Wait, the guy. 
that was trying to get me to play it is literally the dev? That's awesome. I can't believe we banned the dev of Domino who's still trying to fucking promote his game in the chat. Yeah, she knows how to sit. She knows how to stay too, but not great. When a Missouri man attempted to drive a rented box truck into a barricade last night. According to court documents, the suspect told Secret Service agents that he planned the attack for six months with the intention of taking control of the White House and killing the president or anyone else that got in his way. Okay, dude. You planned it for six months and this is the best you got? This is literally like a six second plan, you fucking idiot. You are so stupid, dude. You're so fucking dumb. Six months of planning, and what you got out of it was like, let me rent a traceable U-Haul that will give them my social security number and like, you know, seven lineages uh, worth of data and put a fucking Nazi flag in it to like, what, go into the White House? Wow. You got pegged? No. I have had my ass eaten, though. Pretty good. It's been on his mind since he got there. He's like, finally. It's a moment where I can bring up the Down Syndrome kid that I was thinking about. <laughs> what the fuck? That was unintentionally hilarious. What the fuck did he say? You know he watched the compilation videos of just exactly that? Dude. <laughs> it's such a stupid thing to just... Like, there's probably no better way to show that you're certainly not, like, emotional in that moment than immediately being like, I'm not triggered! <laughs> Fucking Kaya. Drop the plate, dude. Business. I literally came on the show to talk about it. Yeah, 100% not our business. It's goody two-shoes type way, and that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to live my life on my terms, unapologetic. Me out there. Uh you're not just a cloud farmer because I've seen you like, you know, talk about situations and ideas that are from very small creators. Well, it, yeah, think, because it's not about cloud. It's about the damage being done to the discourse in general. That's what it's about. It's about fear. You are scared right now because you understand that when it comes to intersexual dynamics, you are incompetent. Just like talking about this trial, you are incompetent. You don't know all the details, <laughs> yet you're still speaking. The difference between me and you is I don't speak on something it's, unless I know it. It's pretty That's crazy. It's pretty crazy because you were, you were very confidently talking about the fifth amendment which you definitely did not understand <laughs> <laughs> the trial discourse aged like fine wine i know it was such a fucking slam dunkaroony dude holy shit it's so good easy clap 3v1 is it just a beard or is your this is some fucking philosophy mumbo jumbo. Okay, don't ever come to me with some intellectual shit like this. The live agar tweet, I mean. What was the trial? The trial was over. Men are dropping dead because of this. Men need to fix this ASAP. The truth of independent girls. We've interviewed a few girls on this podcast that are millionaires that make quite a bit of money. You know what they all said? That are successful influencers. Yeah. All of them said, fuck that money. I want a relationship and I want children. I want a family. Women don't derive the same pleasure from money and success that men do. When men you know what's really funny? Men say this too. But when men say that, it's seen as like a positive thing. They're like, wow, how worldly and brave of this like successful rich guy to turn around and openly admit that a relationship is more important than material possessions. But when a woman says that, that's an indication that they want to be a trad wife. How about like, they don't want to be a fucking trad wife. They want a relationship, which is an understandable, desirable thing. Okay. Desiring a relationship is perfectly normal. It's perfectly human. Okay. Anyway, uh, love you guys. I uh, will see you tomorrow. Uh, obviously, we got H3H3, more like W3W3. And uh, after that, I'll be live here doing the same damn thing over again. Let's go. Oh, no. Tomorrow's not Wednesday. Fuck. Tomorrow's not Thursday. It's Wednesday. I'm going to be live at 11. What the fuck am I saying? I did it again. In my mind, it's literally, dude, there's something wrong with me, bro. There's actually something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. Tomorrow night, we got Rhonda, little Rhonda, little Rhonda, and Elon Musk.
getting together to do the fucking twit uh, the Twitter thing. They're gonna they're gonna announce. Fuck, man. Yo, why is this Wednesday? Why is this Tuesday sound so Wednesday, dude? Why does this Tuesday feel so fucking Wednesday?